backhand lob. So with the backhand lob, the important thing we're trying to do is get height on the ball, on the front wall, to get the ball over your opponent's head. So it hits the side wall high on the back side wall and then drops deep into the back corner and puts them in trouble. It's a counter from an attack on you to the front of the court. And in executing the backhand lob, what we need to do is get underneath the ball, try and keep the ball in front of you as you approach the front of the court, and then when you do get there, nice low start to the swing, hitting the ball slightly in front of you, and then following through up towards the top of the front wall. You really, if you can get the ball to hit a racket length down from the top red line, you're in about the right area. So as you approach the ball, you're going to get lower, you're going to get under the ball, you're going to hit the ball at about six o'clock on the ball itself to really help it get the height before it reaches the front wall. And so when it does hit the front wall, it's going to hit near the top red line. And make sure that the follow through goes forward. Don't try and follow through across the court because you'll be dragging the ball across the court and threatening to hit it out on the side wall. So nice approach, nice through, follow through, up and high, and you'll be executing the perfect backhand lob.